the answer was recorded on the 4th of September 1987, medium Leslie Flint. I have something. Yeah, yes. okay, it's yeah, I've started Yes, we heard you. Really. He said, are you finished? Is he moaning? Yeah. No. No, I, I, well, I don't know whether I have. That's what I suppose I have. <coughs> Lately, is it not moaning? <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's a no tears. In a way. Anyway, I'll do my best. But he had half in a miserable state lately. Something like was up with him. You should see his aura. Oh, stop the crowds. <laughs> see his what? Aura. Yeah, well, he's in a funny state, ain't he? Oh, well, just one get the paper in the front with it. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Does it affect you then, Mickey, when he's in this? Well, not that exactly, but... Uh, it don't help, does it? No. And no. I, I mean, if he's not happy, then I feel a bit down in the dumps. You sound a little bit down in the dumps, actually. Yeah. Can't you well, advise him, Mickey? Do what? Can't you advise him? Well, what can I do? I don't know. Well, I mean, I can advise to a point, yes. I think it would be a good idea now, in his old age and all that life, you know, that he should settle and get settled and be happy and live a peaceful existence. And we can still do our job occasionally, can't we? Mm, yeah. I mean, it's up to him. I mean, I don't know nothing about money and finance and all that. But if he finds things getting on top of him, then it's best to sort it out and, well, make a change, isn't it? Mm, yeah. mm. Right, How are you, Pete? Well, I'm very well, thank you. A bit of a case you are. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear what I say? Yes, Very we can hear you, Michael. Hello, Roy. Hello, proper case. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. It's so much nicer being dead, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. No worries and anxieties. Not of a material nature. Of course, you have to come to terms with yourself. I mean, when people first come over here, and they're usually met by their loved ones, of course, and they're helped a great deal, and then they sort of sort themselves out. But you see, a lot of people do have regrets, and some people more than others, you see. And perhaps if they've done things that they know they shouldn't have done, or they behave badly, or they upset someone, and or whatever the circumstances, you have to eradicate it okay. from yourself. It's not the easiest thing. And sometimes people cling to the earth, and well, they just want to try to do something worthwhile and help people. And a lot depends on the circumstances of how a person passes. Although nobody wants a long lingering illness, there is a gradual process of change taking place in themselves, not only physically but mentally, and in some cases spiritually. Whereas if someone dies very sudden, with no warning whatsoever, they are often so bewildered, although they are invariably met and helped by people on this side as soon as possible after a tragedy, it's not the easiest thing. Sometimes some people think that they're in a sort of dream state or that it's uh, not the real experience that they're having. Like if you have a very vivid dream, it's so vivid, or when you wake up, it sometimes hangs on or sticks in your mind and uh, you have to sort of bring yourself round to normal. Uh, you see, a lot of people don't understand that a, a person really is no more than he or she thinks as you think, so you are. And you don't suddenly become angelic or you don't suddenly become a changed person because you kick the bucket. Of course, in most <laughs> cases, people do, but not everybody. I don't know why I'm giving you a talk. Carry on, it's interesting. Very interesting. <coughs> How are you, Jace? Not too bad, how are you, Megan? I'm alright, I'd like to see you sorted out. Yeah? Um, I better not stick my neck out, though. <laughs> oh, dear. You 
you're a bit of a taste, Jason, aren't you? Yeah. Nothing radically wrong with you, though, love. You're all right, yeah. and you'll find your feet, and you'll go ahead, and you'll... I know I can say this with absolute certainty that you're going to be much better off and you dare hope and I think you'll get down to the grindstone and you'll make headway mate. Thank you very much. Your mum's quiet. <laughs> I've been listening to you Mickey. How are you girl? Oh I'm alright. You're lucky to have such a nice lad aren't you? I've got two very good sons Mickey. Yeah well I'm talking about him at the moment. <laughs> Jason yes. Do what? Yes, Jason's my anchor at times. Yeah, well, yeah, I could say, but I better keep my mouth shut. He helps me. <laughs> He's your baby, really. He helps me to keep my sanity at times. Why? Oh, just when things are going wrong, you know, you can get a bit out of hand and too much to cope with, you know. Oh. He's the one who keeps my feet on the ground. Otherwise, I like the odd, odd moments. I might come and join you. Oh, come off it. You're not ready to come here yet. We've got enough trouble without you I coming. Know. <laughs> I've been told, Mickey, I'm going to live till I'm in my 90s. And I can't bear the thought of it. Well, I wouldn't be in the position to know whether you're going to be 90 or 60 or what. Although you haven't got far to go before you get to 60, have you? Oh, <laughs> dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You just made a friend for the... I mean, a friend for the... Oh dear. Well, uh, you mean not I long. suppose it's true in a way. When you get to 50, then you're not that far or 60, are you? True, Mickey. <laughs> true. But it's the age. You know, getting older doesn't You've got a lady's old. age anyway, Michael. You're, oh, you're a very lucky lady in more ways than one. You've got a nice family and an old man and all that, have you? No, I haven't, Vicky. You've got him over that side. No, well, I know, but he's round and about you. Oh, and he's true. never far off you, looking after you, helping you. You don't think of him as a way, do you? Oh, no, no. Well, then. No, I, I tend to um, try and keep myself together by thinking he's gone off on one of his business trips like he and Roy used to go on. Hmm. It's a bit longer than you. That's right. <laughs> you've got your old man now, it's near, well, because you probably don't understand. What's that doing? But he's in his own way, he's doing a great deal to help you and the kids and all that. Yes, I know, Mickey. He's got you taped. Oh, I say, should say he has. <coughs> he knew me long enough. Yeah. And you're warm quite well, really, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> Your age, do you? He always used to say that, Mickey. That's what he laughed and just said to me. That's why I repeated it. Uh, he said she never did really have a look her age. She wore well. Yeah, apart from the grey hairs that I've got. Yeah, we well, could always have them touched up, couldn't you? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> have you recently given uh, something away? Me, I'm very often giving things away. No, but then, no, no, wait a moment. I don't know whether this is something you may get a tail of, but fairly recently, were you raking through a drawer? Yes. And did you find something and give it away? What is he on about this? No, I can't think what he's on about, Nicky. I don't know either. Have a go at him, it's usually more positive than that. Do what? Have a go at him. He's usually more positive. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> but, uh, what, is there any joke about braces? Braces? Oh, you know, what all she trousers up? There was once upon a time, but not now. Well, he's laughing about something to do with braces. Oh, Never mind, forget it. He's a case, I'll tell you. <laughs> he certainly is. Do you sense him around in your home? Not so much now, Mickey. Um, and he says that he's often around and he tries to do little things to attract your attention. Mm -hmm. And also, let me tell you, he says that he enjoyed the other day and you had something special on. Ah, something. What was it you was doing a few days ago then?
because she said he was there. I guess he would be, Mickey. And he said it was quite a day in its way. Yeah. Although, was it an anniversary or something? Uh, no, no. It was a return of a, a very good friend of ours from abroad. Well, he said it was something of a celebration yes. and had a drink on him. Do you hear what I said? Yes, yeah. Mickey, I heard you. He was the only thing that was missing. He from wasn't me. missing. No, he <laughs> was the only thing. <laughs> Yeah, but he said something about there was some body in what you drank. Do what? Oh, it's all right. It's Jason having a go at me. Why? Why shouldn't he? He said I've been hitting his gin again. Have you? No. <laughs> Have you? No. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't go in for those kinds of spirits, Mickey. <laughs> I didn't say you did exactly, but there was some joke also. Um, hold on. What did you say? By the way, do you know Lou? Yes. What is he on about Lou then? I don't know, that was a friend of his. He says he'd been around and he's seen Lou recently. Yes. You lost touch then? Oh, Lou is on that side with you. Well, he says that he's been to see Lou and he says that he's tried to be in touch or something, I don't know. And he's also talking about someone called Ed. Ed? Ed Edward, Eddie. Perhaps he wouldn't know all his mates. Quite possibly. I don't know, because you, 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 um, have you got a lot of stairs or what? We've got stairs, yes. Two flights? No, only one. Well, that's funny. He says he was very concerned about the stairs. I don't want to, she don't know what you're on about. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, have you got rods? Oh no, I've been trying to get some rods. He's laughing. He says she ought to do something about the bloody rods. Yes, I <laughs> want And he's talking about the stairs. <laughs> and he says, why doesn't she do something about the rods? You tell him to make the money materialise and I will. They because he says he's worried about the stairs. Hey, have you got it tacked down or something? Oh yes, it's all well fitted. Well, as long as you know what you're up to. But he says a uh, pity she couldn't get some rods or something. Yes. Well, tell him to supply the money. Why are you hard up then? No, but I'm not going to pay £230 plus VAT for 14 stair rods. So can't you get them cheaper? No, because they're brass. Oh, you want the brass and so yeah. of course they're posh, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then again, you've got to take them out and polish the bleeding things. No, no. Why don't you have something else? I'd love <laughs> them. <laughs> He's laughing. I repeat a lot of the things he says. That's right. And he likes a little cuss down again. Oh, yeah. In the nicest yeah. possible way. Oh, yeah. Because you see, he... He's a realist. He may be dead as a dodo, as you think, on your side of life, but he's much more vital than alive. And when one talks about him, one talks about him as being very much with you, yeah. and that he is with you. And you may not see him, and you may not hear him, but he's there all right. Yes. You, here. Yeah. Oh. You've got a car, ain't you? No, oh, not again, yes. Uh, yeah, what's all this about this car he's on about? Um, <clears throat> is it a second hand? Well, I've had it for three years. Oh, but the bodywork's gone a bit. Well, moment. he says that's not the only bit of bodywork that's gone either. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see the point of that. Oh, yes, I did. I know just what he's on about. He's laughing all over his chops. He, I like him. He's out my street. Oh, he he often me. comes and sees you. He's been to you. Well, of course, it's difficult about circles and things. Mm. How are things for you, Roy? Um, hmm. Not as good as I hoped. And uh, we've, you know, that sort of small select circle we had has expanded again. And uh, we've heard now that, um, in fact, the lady's going to move away from the area. 
so we haven't got... Well, there seems to be some discussion going on about you and five of you all told, five people involved, mm. and the little circle. Perhaps it's something that will start up again. Mm. Mm. Yes, well, and this is what the aim is, really, to get a, a sort of much smaller circle going and keep it... Because old Floss is often around you. I know. You know, he <laughs> <laughs> got out laughing about old Flossie. <laughs> she hasn't changed all that much, you know. No. I said that she's younger and no aches and pains and nothing like that over here, yeah. but yeah. she's got you well taped, you know. Well, she kind <laughs> of circle we could sit in and stay in and keep well, it she maintained. Well, she's to think that you could arrange it. I could arrange it. Well, I'm thinking about it now. I only heard this morning that this uh, the one I'm presently sitting in is going. You're going abroad. On oh, Monday, yeah. Do what? On Monday. I've just come back, but I'm going on yeah, Monday Yeah, but she says something about you taking another trip. Yeah, Monday. Where are you off to then? Or um, shouldn't I ask? Bremerhaven. Where the hell's that? Ger West Germany. <laughs> oh, is that a boating place? No, no. It's only for a couple of days. I'll be, back, I'll be back on Wednesday. I'm not for long. No, I've just been on a trip, two weeks holiday. Oh, did you enjoy it? Mm, I enjoyed it, but the girls didn't. Why, what was wrong with it? Well, it wasn't up to their usual standard they've had in the previous Well, you year. know what it's like, you can't please everybody all the time, can well, you? I, I, if you please, well, you're offended out there in life, don't you? Well, I, in fact, I enjoyed unconsciously. it. Unconsciously. I enjoyed it more there than the other place, really. Why, was it better then? No, it wasn't better, but I don't know, there's something different every year, isn't it? They want to go to the same hotel and the beach is right outside and lay on the beach all day. And what was that do you? you I don't know, I, I, I don't know the beach, I, I go walkies anyway. So. But I oh, know I enjoyed it, but the girls, I think the girls enjoyed it in the end. But, um, anyway, yes, I'm going to ship on Monday, but only for a couple of days. Business? Yeah. Oh, well, this one get the baby in her frog. No. Hold on. <laughs> I'll be back. God help you. Old pizza case, isn't it? I'm sitting here quietly. Do what? I'm sitting here quietly. <coughs> oh, yeah, I know all about that, mate. And you're sitting quietly and all that. You might be coming to live in Sussex, that would be lovely, probably. Do what? So you might be coming to live in Sussex, then. Seems to me as if you're trying to get everyone to live in Sussex. <laughs> 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 uh, that would be lovely if everyone did. Save me Yeah, and then you start up a new circle. Yes, that's right. Old Pete's a very psychic person. He never realises it, but he is, you know. Not much I can do about it. Well, it would be if you could sit and develop, like. Perhaps I should be one of the five. What's she say? If you could find enough excuses for Esther. Yeah. Introduced to two, to two new friends, that'd be really. Well, they're not new to me. Oh, they? <laughs> no, no, no. they might be new in a sense, yes, but um, I, although they probably won't realise this, but I know of them and I know the links and I know the contacts too, and there's a lot of psychic force and energy. But I think that lady in particular, she's much more psychic than perhaps she even realises. Can she hear me? Yes, Becky, thank you. Spring. Are you sceptical about yourself then? <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> yeah, well you see, you say to yourself, oh well it might be my imagination or is it intuition or whatever like, you know. But you do get quite a lot of things at times and impressions and you just can't always account for it. Actually, when possible, if you could, you should give out what you sense and what you feel. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. And also, if you took an article belonging to someone, held it in your hand, and uh, provided that she didn't know the person or anything much about her and all that makes it more evidential like, but you'd be surprised the things you could receive. You get a lot of inner things, you say. Some people are not what you call flamboyant like. 
you know, sort of people or mediumship like or whatever. But you get it with an intuitive inner awareness and you the sensitized auric emanation from you tells me a lot. And I think that um, I don't know if I stick my neck out here. Um I don't know whether you'll understand this and yet I feel sure you will. And that is that someone very at one period very close to you it's as if something developed or happened. Uh, did you have a separation? Yes. Eh? Yes. A, a marriage separation? Yes. You didn't, didn't you eat it off then? He preferred some other woman to me. Do what? He preferred a different woman to me. What's she say? Oh, I can't believe it, but you see, he, he, he went, went off. off with another woman. Well, this is what they're telling me, you see, mm. because your marriage went on the rocks. And uh, you, everything was going smoothly at one period, and then all this built up, burst and, like a balloon burst, you know. And they say that if only you could realise it, sad though the situation was, in the long run it was all for the best. I do realise that now. Uh, but you're not exactly uh, sitting on your what's it, are you? <laughs> I mean, you've been getting around and about a bit. Oh, yes, but the point is, <laughs> I could tell you a lot. You know, you are an interesting character. You know, they're telling me about your marriage and all that business and all the rest of it. And they say that it had to be because you were poles apart, really. And you would have been very unhappy if it had continued any further. It was all for the best, if you could only believe it. I do believe it. I know it now. Are you a skater? No. I, I, I you don't know what I mean. No, I don't. I'm not talking about putting bleeding skates on your feet. <laughs> <I'm nice. laughs> but you do take chances. Yes. You you are you you see if I may say so, Mrs. I don't think you realise altogether yourself. Perhaps you do. Perhaps you don't. But I think not exactly. I wouldn't say you're not adventurous, but at the same time. Uh, I don't know how to put this without appearing rude <laughs> and that is that well you take chances in the sense of who doesn't but the point is that you've got so much within yourself to give you know I feel that you have so much there pinned up or penned up to some extent I, I don't know how to put all this but I feel that I've got to say to you the latter years are going to be your best years. Yes, I think you're right. I think it's beginning. Have now. you got someone then that you're very fond of then? No, only my own family, my children and my... Yeah, well, okay, do We'll talk about that if no. you like, but no, no. I'm going to stick my neck out. It's no good. They're telling me that you're not to assume uh, that you're going to be as you are Although you've got family, yes, but you're, you've got so much within yourself to give in another direction. And it's not, the door is not closed. Uh, yeah. And who's Jim? I don't know. Oh, well, I'm telling you. There's a very near bloke. And, uh, <coughs> he's, he's, so, he's laughing all over his chops. And he's a character. And he says that you always called him Jim. And he is some connection. Hold on. I don't mean to say a love affair and then daft like that. Uh, this yeah. is something yeah. quite different. I've got somebody I think with me sometimes called Jimmy. Do what, girl? I think there's an airman called Jimmy that's often with me. Well, there's a very bright, happy person yeah. here. He's with me when I drive. And he says that he's Jim and Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. And he takes a great interest in you and tries to help you. And he obviously in his own way is doing the work of the spirit. Yes. But so uh, you do do a lot of spiritual things. But you see, you mustn't doubt yourself so much. You must give out what you get and say, well, this is it. Sometimes some people say, oh, I don't know what they're on about, you know. But often when they get home and think it all out, that they realise. You see, you mustn't be put off. You've got a great deal within you and you give out a great deal. But you mustn't sort of put the spanner in the works. I uh, don't know how you do it deliberately. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Do you have a lot to do with the church? A fair amount, yes. No, but I don't necessarily... Ne hold on. Oh, blimey. 
if only you would allow yourself to open up and take it on and don't hold back. I would like to do that, actually. Yeah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, you're not keen on samplers, are you? No. Do you know what a sampler is? Yes, I don't yes. mean going to the shop and having a free meal. No. I don't mean that sampler. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never tried doing it. No, I'm not saying you should. No. But someone's showing me uh, an old piece of embroidery and it's what they call a sampler <coughs> and it was put in a frame and it's quite old. And I got an idea it belonged to a relation of yours. There's a lady here and she's telling me about herself and when she was uh, on earth and you would only been a very small child at the time, Emily, and she collected a few odd bits and pieces of Victorian days, you know. And who was Lizzie then? No. Hey? I don't know Lizzie. Well, I'm forcing this one on you. Whether you like it or not, she's here. <laughs> And she said her name was Elizabeth, and they used to call her Liz or Lizzie. And she is connected with your family on your father's side. And Tom. I know Tom, yes. Yeah, you're an interesting case. You should become quite a good psychic, and I think you are anyway now. But I think you've got to force yourself to some extent to, to work and go further afield if necessary. You've got to have more confidence. Yes, I agree with you there. Pity about your marriage in a way going on the rocks, or it was really the best thing that ever happened to you, you know. Because he wasn't right for you in the first place. You may have made a go of it for a time, but it obviously wasn't meant for you. It was the experience you had to have, did you? No, I know, no, it wasn't. I can't put it on you, though. No, no. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have to deal with all sorts of people, don't I? And you sometimes get them posh people, you know. I, I remember once, I had a laughing, I had a group like, you know, and there was two very posh women here, you know, and uh, <laughs> I found them rather interesting, like, you know, and I thought they'd have a smashing great big car or something, not on your nelly. They was they went down the slope down to the station to go on the underground. I was always so surprised because I stood behind them, see. And one said, "Well, what did you think of it, dear?" You know, that, that was very really interesting. I thought, "Blimey, they didn't know I was stuck right <laughs> now." <laughs> oh, this will get baby new frock. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Mick is in a funny mood. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, dear. Oh dear, dear. Shut up, snorting. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be a bit of a good talk. No, keep it yourself. Oh dear. Right. Yes, good morning. <laughs> oh, so I'm here. Well, you're telling me you're there. I'm I not sleeping. You're there. You but you've never been all there, have you? Something knows you're right. We're nearly all there, anyway. No, you're all right, mate. If everybody was like you, the world would be a better place to live in. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. There's nothing nasty about you and your makeup. You do your best as best you can. Oh, but you know, when we look into your world and see the state of it, oh, blimey. You know, you don't like, don't realise it. There's like a fault all around your world with all the hatred and all the rest of it and the world that's going on, you know. It's like a fault. It, you know, sometimes it's always impossible to pierce it. Mm. Much more difficult now to get contact than it used to be, you know. Mm. Well, I believe that. A lot of Sally Army influence for that woman next to you as well. Is huh? that? Don't know whether she understands that. Salvation Army! I've never had to do with <laughs> Salvation Army. I didn't say you did. I'm not saying you had any whatever to do with it. No. But there is a very strong influence of some people on this side who were Salvationists. Yeah, one of them, the lady, used to wear the bonnet and the old tambourine and all that jazz, you know. And she evidently comes to your little group. You have a lot of people come around you in your circle. 
Yes, we've had the Sally Army. People, yeah. The Sally Army mentioned actually. Yeah. I can't think of it. I used to know people in the when I was a child that were in the Salvation Army. You were when I was little. I used to know a lot of people in the Salvation yeah, Army. Yeah, well, they have not left you, and they bring a lovely influence. Of course, you see, they're not so narrow minded about things as they was. Obviously, when you get over here, you soon change your tune anyway. <laughs> and you don't have a tambourine to help you. But <laughs> <laughs> over here, you go and love it. If only people would realise how natural, how real, and how marvellous it is to be dead, no one would be scared on it. <laughs> He's going to end up making us all envious. <laughs> ah, you had to do your sting, mate. You know, it carries <laughs> anyway, it would be nice if you could move to Hove. So, do what? It would be nice if you could move to Hove. Why should I have to move to Hove? I'm yeah. happy over here. <laughs> <laughs> they don't cost me anything in rent or anything. <laughs> you don't mean old Les, do you? Mm. Yeah. Oh, him. I don't know where he'll end up. It's up to him, and he? has got free will. Mm. Well, I'll do all I can to get him to Sussex anyway. You get him what? I say I'll do all I can to get him to Sussex. Okay, sure. <laughs> Perhaps he might like Essex. No, flat <laughs> <laughs> oh, country. <laughs> like what she say? Essex. Roy's trying to get Leslie to move to Sussex. I said perhaps he'd like Essex. That's where we are. No one lives out here, do they? No, we, he'd like Brighton. <laughs> We want to I, come I, down I, to I'm not getting dragged into it. <laughs> 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 very, right. very wise. Very wise. And some people got free will. Very wise. And it's not for you very or right. anyone else to try to influence, although you can always make suggestions. But, you know, people have to choose themselves. And if they make a mistake, they've only got themselves to blame. They can't blame someone else, can they? No, that's true. Yeah, anyway, this one get the baby to a frog. Hold on. Oh, shut up. It'd be better for you, George, wouldn't it? Daddy M23? Mm. Why should it be better for him? Oh, no, I'm just thinking about. Um, he lives nearer Brighton than does London. I don't know. Yeah, see, so think about all the other people. <coughs> <coughs> I could walk it. <laughs> that lady, she's. <laughs> oh dear, that next to him. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Come along, who do you want, friend? What's your other name? <sighs> He's gone. I'm too slow, I'm waiting. Arthur's been here before. Yes, I've got a feel. I'm full of it tonight. Uh, Gwen? Did you say Wynn? Huh? Wynn? Oh, I thought you said Wynn, that made me wrong. Come on, friend. Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? How are you? Too bad? <laughs> Yes, thank you. Love. How are you? Much better now. Good, that's right. I do hope you can arrange something later on. Yes. I'd like to be able to keep in touch. Yes. Have a circle. Yes. Can you hear what I'm saying? Yes, I can, boss. Perhaps we can get some direct voice, you can come and speak to us. God knows. <laughs> <laughs> God's asking you. <laughs> Hoping that John will stay with us. Well, can't John stay? Mm. He doesn't. He, he he came for a couple of weeks and left, left us. Why? Why? Oh, I don't know. You know, he's always been a bit erratic, anyway, hasn't he? Irrational. Oh, no. Don't worry about the move. <laughs> That's 
for you, Leslie. Is it? Mm. Don't floss it, don't worry about the moon. In the what? Oh, spring of next year, she said. Mm. She said what she said. <coughs> yes. Gosh, that's a long time. Mm. Six, nine, nine, eight. It takes time to get going, you know, these things. Mm. There you are, Lissy, you've got a message from Floss. <laughs> well, that? I must say, I never get anything. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know if you can hear. Yes, Hello, yes, monsieur. Good, Madame, good I am very pleased, you know, yes. to be able to come and talk with you. We don't want you to lose face, you know. I want you to know we have great hope of it, you know, this circle. Mm -hmm. You don't think it is finished. No, it is not finished. No. It is going to be all right. Huh? Mm -hmm. A little later on, oh, things will become better, Good. more organized. Huh? Good. And that will be very nice. Huh? Yes. Madame, we will send all our love, you know. Thank you. You here? No? Hello. Speaking. Hello, yes, thank you. Sorry, but uh, are you speaking to me or Brenda? I talk to Brenda. Hey. Hello. Hello. You will not hear what I say, no? No. Ah, we have great hope of you, madam. You know the work of the Spirit, it will go forward. You do the work, huh? It will happen, you know. Lovely, thank you. You know to lose fast, huh? Not work. You will be all right, child. Thank you. Ah, it is very nice, you know. I have like not been able to come for quite a while now, but I just want all of you to know. Everyone here, send love and blessing. Everyone. Some of them you don't know, huh? But many people come, huh? Some you know, others no. Hmm? You know, the young one, you know, your papa sent all his love to you and your brother. And Mama. It's just Joyce. <coughs> Thank you. Very quiet, huh? The boys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't the noisy one. No, no. but he is a good boy. Huh? Oh yes. Very and he loves you very much. And uh, well, both your sons, huh? Are yes. good boys, huh? Yes, they're very good. Boys. They're very quiet boys, huh? Heath isn't so quiet. No. Oh no! Sometimes he raises the roof. But it's very quiet, huh? This one is very, very quiet. Both pretty quiet considering the <laughs> like with you. Well, <laughs> 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 they're both quiet considering, considering they are due for a father. I don't know who's that butted in there. It was, it was, that it was, Roy. was Roy. You know jolly well what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 and the boys, they're pretty good boys. Oh, they're very good, dear. Uh, no cause of complaint. No. They both love you and look after you in their own way. Uh, can you hear what I'm saying? Yes, Sunday, I can hear. I'm not quite sure whether I'm registering or whatever it is, you know. Just want you to know I'm here and give all my love and affection to you all, you know that. Thank Keep you. Keep your chin up and things will be all right and you'll get your bleeding steroids. Not if I've got to pay for them, I won't. <laughs> the ways and means. <laughs> ways and means. That is what I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 he has an altered right. Bleeding steroids, should I? I'm all right. I've moved her to a point, I suppose. Yes, I suppose everybody has to. Once you leave your world, to some extent, you're bound to change. But fundamentally, when I come down to the earth and to your environment, I'm much the old self, believe me. I don't think you could alter very much, dear. I, I don't intend to not until you join me, and then I'll take my time. Anyway, I love you. You know that. And I, I love, love you, to too. The body. Love God bless. Take care. God bless. God bless. Peter, 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 Peter Jason. Just give me his love. All right. Good night. Pardon? Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Do you know what a chance to raise? Yes. Yeah. 
Who, me? Yeah. Yes, I know, right? I oh, know if I mean. Yes. I don't know whether this makes sense. Someone says, don't be surprised what you hear concerning Ray, and it's somebody on your side, not this. That's right, Mickey. Has there been a problem there? I no. you wouldn't know. Well, Ray is Heath's boss. Ray? Ray is Heath's boss. Well, I don't understand what it is, but they're telling me, don't be surprised what you hear and what develops in regard to Ray. It's not imminent, but it's not far off. And there's some sort of an upheaval and there's some sort of change. And it's all connected with this Ray. Yes. Well, I don't understand that. I get to, I wish people would clarify, clarify, clarify. Uh, <laughs> As for you, Roy. Yes. I'm still here. Yeah, you'll always be there, mate, until you get here. <laughs> you can't help laughing. You know, Roy, you are a funny bloke. Well, some people have said that. <laughs> <laughs> In the nicest possible way, I mean. I think you've got a wonderful outlook and more or less on everything. But, you know, I wish I could sometimes help you more. I feel sometimes as if you get um, so far and no further. It's a pity in a way about your psychic and spiritual involvement. But this is just what I was thinking of when you said that. Yeah, so yeah. You see but your point. wife, bless her, she's a sweetie, isn't she? Mm -hmm. You treat her well, don't you? Oh, yes, indeed. You better. <laughs> hmm. She's not really settled, though, is she? No, I know. I've just been there two years. Has she got to be in her body about possibly making more moves? Yeah. She <laughs> wants, to, wants to get a bird sanctuary going or something in the country somewhere. Uh, get a what? Bird sanctuary going. Feathered variety, of course. Well, she's got a hell of a bird with you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know we're support. interested in this bird hospital business. and. Uh, yeah, I know all about that, but... Um, she wants to move out into the country to start, you know, sort of get an acre or so. And well, that's all right as far as it goes, but... Essex is ideal for that. Do really. what? <laughs> <laughs> Essex is ideal for that. No, she wants to move out to Arundel Way somewhere, I think. Well, know, what about uh, you? Well, as long as it's near a main station, I don't care really. I'm not that fast as long as I get to London. Does it really matter to me? Well, I don't know. Although I don't particularly want to leave the area I'm in now. I've been there for long enough, 40 odd years, so I don't want to really move out. I don't see any changes. Good. I know there's an air of, you know, with your missus, she's a little bit sort of... Well, we've been there two years and we've only just finished the outside of the house. Well, we haven't finished that yet. It's taken a lot, long, long time to do the house up. It's well, look, house. I'll make a suggestion. Mm -hmm. If your missus wants to move to that extent and you decide, why don't you sell your house to old Liz? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Try and do a bit of business. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, huh? I'll oh, become an that. agent. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want him quite near you, if he likes your house, why don't you send to him and you get another house? Oh dear, oh dear. I'm only kidding. I hope so. And all uh, <laughs> <laughs> he can come live as he wants to. He got five beds. <laughs> five beds. Five you wouldn't bedroom. want him living with you. Drive you around the bend. <laughs> you know what mediums are like. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now I made an offer. I say if he wants to come down to Hove. I'll, I'll run it down in the car and back. Or I reckon that's such a good idea. I mean, me. have a look around really more than anything else. Yeah, well, I expect if he does sell out, which I'm sure he's going to, mm. I think it'd be nice if he lived with people like you and your missus and that. And be nice if perhaps you could have a regular do circle. Well, I uh, did dare think that when I mentioned it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I wasn't yeah, have a that. weekly circle and all that. Because right. uh, old Les won't be able to cope with, I mean, I mean, the time is, you know, I mean, let's face it, uh, he won't be able to do all what he has done like, because, you know, we won't encourage him over to do it, because mm. it wouldn't be wise, would it? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? we get another voice down here. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, this won't get a baby new frog. Anyway, the power's going a bit. Mm. I like uh, your little group, you know, I always do. Well, we all enjoy coming here. 
we, 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 we come to listen to you, not to get anything especially. Well, blimey, yeah, well, I may be, but he <laughs> <laughs> got my other things, of course, and all, you know. Anyway, uh, when are you coming again, Roy? I don't know. December. Oh, December. Oh, Christmas? Yes. bring them new people again if they want to come because I think they're nice like you know <laughs> perhaps I can do more for them another time like I see but the power's getting down proper now mm. anyway my love I have to go bye 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 bye, bye. 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 keep you keep well no <laughs> <laughs>